ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಐದು ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ ನಡೆಸ್ತೀವಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಮೊಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ಸ್ ನ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ನಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟೇಷನ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗಳನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇರಿಸಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ಅವರ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯಗಳನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೇಷನ್ಸ್ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಗಳು ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಒಂದು ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ವೇದಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಸ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲಾಂಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಮೂವ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನರ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ three eminent elected representatives we have with us a very senior member of parliament from bangalore central shri pc mohan we have with us the member of uh, the legislative assembly from jayanagar assembly constituency shrimati saumya reddy and the former mayor of uh, bangalore shrimati gangambike malikarjun and i am rajiv gowda member of parliament in the rajya sabha representing karnataka uh, <coughs> today we are going to be discussing the very first set of issues which are focused on substantially on transportation challenges on public transport on ways to get this vibrant city back on the move and if you look at the circumstance under which we were assembled here today this is the just a couple of weeks after we've come out of the covid lockdown it's been a tremendous crisis a global crisis and as a result people everywhere have been essentially facing the difficulties enduring the difficulties of staying at home of having businesses and the economy come to a halt and now that we believe that things can start opening up once again we are trying to get the city back on the move it's been a very challenging period but everyone will attest to the fact that the roads were empty that the air was cleaner that the city was cooler in fact this year because i think there was not that much vehicle transportation and impact on the roads but that said what are the issues that we are facing what we are facing as we try to get moving back or get the city moving again is we are facing the challenge of balancing public safety with the opportunities to revive the economy and one of the major challenges for example in bus transportation is to ensure that social distancing is maintained in buses that only of, you know or, you know the bus historically the capacity of buses in india in bangalore has been not just 40 50 seats but also many people standing an equal number of people standing and if i remember my own uh, childhood and youth uh, some of us used to be hanging from the door uh, you know holding on uh, we would be at the footboard uh, as we would say but all that is not possible anymore so we have a bus fleet which can only carry about one third of the people who you, we used to carry before and of course this has had an impact on many other forms of transportation our hired transportation alternatives shared cabs the ubers and the olas and the other say, you know uh, alternatives that people had got used to using the internet to book something and get from one place to another sharing vehicles all of that is also um, restricted the back but uh, you know with with some new safety measures thrown in and the ubiquitous auto rickshaw you know, all of these are going to face some interesting challenges to make sure that 
the people who drive these vehicles, who are using them as a source of livelihood, continue to do their business while at the same time ensuring their safety and that of their passengers in, in, this, in the face of the coronavirus, novel coronavirus. So how do we take this opportunity to turn things around? How do we get Bengaluru moving again? Let me use this as a platform to engage in a discussion with our fellow elected representatives. Let me start with Sri P.C. Mohan. And, you know, um, uh, Ms. Mohan, you have been an advocate for suburban rail. In 2008, before I was elected, when I was still a professor, I held a workshop for ministers and MLAs in Vidhan Sauda on the same topic, saying suburban rail will benefit not just Bengaluru, but all of the cities which are connected to Bengaluru, uh, you know, within 40, 50 miles. And progress has been somewhat slow. Can we use this opportunity, the crisis, to reach out to the railway authorities and say, why don't you run more trains in the, in the gap between various timetables? Let us get people used to this new opportunity, because otherwise we're waiting, you know, that luckily, thanks to your efforts, thanks to everyone, uh, all of us who have been fighting for this, uh, there have been budget announcements, both central and state governments are cooperating. Can we come up with some way of operationalizing suburban rail? A very important question uh, Sri Raju Godaji asked. Because Bangalore is one of the fastest growing city in the whole country, which has about more than 1.3 crore population. And Bangalore is the largest employment generator also in the whole state. Especially I can tell you in my in Bangalore Central Mahadevpura Assembly constituency which is there, about 5.5 lakh quotas are there. There are you know, IT and BT companies are there as we all know the Silicon City of uh, uh, India. It, it has about 12 lakh employees there alone in that particular constituency. So uh, Bangalore requires a multi-mode transport, uh, whether it is suburban, BMTC, then uh, metro, any other mode of transport also which helps the Bangalore we require. Uh. See, as of now today, BMTC carries around 35 lakh passengers. Uh. Earlier it used to carry more after the uh, metro coming, the ridership has come down in uh, uh, BMTC. Earlier they used to carry around 50 lakh passengers, now they are carrying around 35 lakh passengers. And when it comes to metro, metro is already carrying 4 lakh passengers. In the future days, you know, once the phase 1 and 2 completely completes, it will carry around 12 lakh passengers a day. So this is affecting the BMTC transport also. And in fact, you know, for the last uh, uh, Raju was asking why the project also was getting delayed. For the last two years, uh, uh, the B uh, BMRCL was in fact, it has not come to the public notice. They were objecting if the metro comes uh, parallelly to the uh, suburban, uh, their ridership will come down. We have invested a lot of money. That was the problem. Now, in fact, you know, we have sorted out the issue totally. Now, uh, after uh, the new government has come, uh, in the August, uh, uh, the chief minister has cleared it and uh, given a consent also. Now k ride that is the uh, joint venture between the railways and uh, the state government k ride has been also formatted and there is an MD also for that. Now they have appointed uh, the engineers and all uh, other uh, staff also. So now uh, the doubling line also from Oso to Chennasandra and two lines they have taken up also. Now the work will definitely start faster and I am hopeful because the state government also has kept 500 crores fund also for this. So I am confident the state government, the work will start in next 4-5 uh, years I can see that uh, the, uh, we will see some kind of a development. Thank you. I just hope that um, we will see that and uh, you know it's very nice to know that the problem has been resolved because ultimately when multimodal networks are there it will only bring more people on and not take away from anybody's traffic frankly because no, if, that's it's, what, uh, if it's convenient if it's convenient then more people will prefer to take and change you know one mode to another. That's the sort of situation. Actually, actually in fact I also spoke to the BMRCL and uh, other mm -hmm. officials also. 
see the, the riders who go in metro they will not go in uh, suburban suburban is not for bangalore suburban is for people around the bangalore who are staying and coming and for work and going back in the evening they are all in a labor class and all such people who come they want to sell their vegetables they want to migrant workers all such people it is that because of the uh, suburban the fares also are very less uh, comparing to metro so there won't be any competition between these two also yeah well, we are hoping that it will also help our uh, it and other communities Certainly. because you know if you can go from yashwantpur to whitefield in 20 minutes why would anyone want to spend 22 hours on the road <laughs> that is a thing anyway so my dear um if you think about public transport uh, you know after the covid crisis people are actually uh, moving back to private options because of safety concerns right and public transport is something that is really important to disadvantaged sections to the poorer sections of society to migrant workers anyone who can't afford a vehicle of their own don't you think that we must do something to make uh, public transport more accessible uh, get people back on uh, using using this uh, technology and these options yelligu um, namaskara nanu modnedagi ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಾನು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಬಯಸ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗೌರ ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಮಚ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಅನ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಮೋಹನ್ ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಯಸ್ ಮೇಯರ್ ಗಂಗಾಂಬಿಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ನನಗೆ ನಿಜ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ topic and right like uh, sir also rightly said um mobility is something that's just so important and especially now the entire world is actually thinking this is the unfortunately become the new normal post covid and uh, i think mobility it's not just about commuting it's not just about transportation it's about a bunch of different things it's about right to education livelihood it's about leisure it's about access to health care iga uh, starting alu lockdown prarambha aadmele a lot of essential workers were still functioning namge belige kasano ettbeku aspatrelu kelsa maadbeku ನಮ್ಮಂಥ ಜನಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ನಮ್ಮಂಥವರು ನನೀಗ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೂ ಕಾರ ಬ ಕಾ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಬಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕಾರಲ್ಲೇ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಆದರೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಜನರು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಮೊಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಹೋಲ್ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ buses is something that we really need to focus on and stress upon and like uh, our mp uh, sir said i think uh, the ridership is close to about 50 50000 it was 51000 0.5 lakh in for, uh, 14 uh, 2014 15 but now it's actually reduced to 36 lakhs um and um, and there are a bunch of different reasons because of that and i think we're respecting of who is governing at uh, the state we really need to focus on bmtc i think it, um, in every state we need to actually subsidize 40 percent to of uh, of people who are actually using transportation actually using our bmtc uh, but it's actually um, under a, they say uh, we don't have enough buses yes that's true and we don't have enough um, because most people actually use this as a transportation i think barely about 7% of people are using uh, uh, the metro but if you actually look at the cost that's gone into uh, constructing the metro to the amount that we're spending uh, uh, on bmtc it's huge iglu ashte nama suburban railway it's much much needed tumba varsha inda navu idu bage charche martidivi discuss martidivi in fact i think the estimated uh, sorry the sanctioned cost is about 11 uh, crore 546 crore antide adrega recently 18, sorry 18600 but uh, unfortunately the center has just allocated only uh, 1 crore uh, recently and i think uh, hoping i think 
future ali now at least we can focus more on that ega e post covid time going back to your question now with social distancing go now mansal itko beku adre how do we really balance that mm. unfortunately right now july august september it's going to peak we probably the fourth highest in the whole world right now uh, we have beaten i think brazil um, and uh, this is something that we really need to consider balancing uh, a balancing act of all of these things um can the working class middle class and upper you know class sure. so um Marhum brought up this issue of we all came in our cars. It's a number of very hot weather actually. So now, normally when I go to Bandaga, not come there. But if you think about it, you can call it a number. If you try hard at that, we will run into challenges because the footpath is dirty. There is a um, broken chapadi. It is difficult even for um, you know for a fully able-bodied person to actually walk and. Come, you know, commute and you make use of that. So we, everyone starts walking on this on the road, uh, competing with mo uh, motor vehicle traffic. Either or another, parasiti is there. So now, either bus bage amal thiga chacha mana, but just the, you know, basic uh, challenges of good footpaths, well lit, safe commuting uh, possibilities. Jana narko dhoraar be kunda. What what can we do? Why is there such a challenge? Anta. ಮೊದಲಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಂಥ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದಂಥ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗೌಡ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಹೇಳಕ್ ಬಯಸ್ತೀನಿ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನನ್ನೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಅವರಾದ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಮೋಹನ್ ಸರ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಆದ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಅವರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಖಂಡಿತ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಒಂದು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ಏನ್ ನಾವು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಈ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಜನರ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಕೂಡ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಹೇಳಕ್ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಫುಟ್ಪಾತ್ ನೀವು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಈಗ ಜನರು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಜನರು ಓಡಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಫುಟ್ಪಾತು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅನಿವನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ನಡೆಯುವಾಗ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗಳೇ ಎಡುವಂತ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ಆ ಥರದವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ನಾವು ಗಮನ ವಹಿಸಲೇಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ವದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾಗ ನಾವು ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಶೂ ರೋಡ್ಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಸರ್ಜಿತವಾದ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಆಗಿ ನಡೆಯೋ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಲ್ಪಿಸ್ಕೊಟ್ವಿ ಸುಮಾರು ರಸ್ತೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಫುಟ್ಬಾತ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಅದು ಮೇಜರ್ ರೋಡ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇದ್ದದ್ರಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಸಣ್ಣ ಪುಟ್ಟ ರೋಡ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಖಂಡಿತ ಈ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಜನಸಾಮಾನ್ಯರಿಗೆ ದೊರಕಲೇಬೇಕು ಕಾರಣ ನಾವ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಯೋಜನೆ ರೂಪಿಸೋದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಜನಗಳ ಒಂದು ಹಿತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಖಂಡಿತ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನ ಗಮನ ವಹಿಸಲೇಬೇಕು ಇದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಕಡೆ ನಾವು ನಾನು ಕಳೆದ ಬಾರಿ ಮೇಯರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಷನರ್ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ವಾರ್ಡ್ ವೈಸ್ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಟ್ಬಾತ್ ಸರಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಮೇಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋಕೇಶನ್ ಕೂಡ ಪ್ರಾವಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಅನಿವನ್ ಸ್ಲಾಬ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಜನ ಎಡುತ್ತಾರೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕಣ್ಣು ಬಂದ ಕಂಡು ಬಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅದನ್ನ ಸರಿಪಡಿಸಬೇಕು ಖುದ್ದಾಗಿ ಜೆ ಎಸ್ ಅವರು ಚೀಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಅದೇ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕೂಡ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯಿತು ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಭಾಗಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇವ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಜನರ ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಜನಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳ ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೂರ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಜನಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೂರ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಈ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಜನಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಗಳು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರ ಒಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಯತೆಯಿಂದ ಇದನ್ನ ಸರಿಪಡಿಸಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ ಈಗ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಅವರು ಮಾತಾಡುವಾಗ ಹೇಳಿದ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಟಿ ಸಿದು ಸಬ್ಸಿಡಿ ಕೊಡಬೇ
then only the traffic on the road will come down because bus can carry 50 seater is there standing also about 10 15 people of course living the covid situation illa ant helo and 60 jana 70 jana hogtare anta adike na yakande bus should become more affordable absolutely and the government should give subsidy what i feel we dev pre put uh, infrastructure ge na varshakke 2 varshakku on sathi road tar ge kodti ella kodti aa taradalli idinnu kuda ond infrastructure development anta tilkondo sarkara idikku kuda desh should start uh, giving subsidy for bmtc buses how again i get there if they become reasonable people will stop using the two wheeler and four wheeler they will start using buses so anta heltine idu nanu kuda helta idini idina mumbara dinagale navu kuda sarkarad mele ottada haake ee ond subsidy tarodanna vicharadalli navu madbekagutte ond on on this topic i want to uh, you know take you take you forward see buses can be an amazing solution because they move as you said a large number of people but to make buses move fast you need a uh, dedicated bus lanes or some other method that allows these bigger vehicles to move faster in your constituency actually there is a uh, one dedicated bus lane that starts in bangalore south in uh, silkborg and uh, goes through bangalore central through the heart of your constituency and ends in tin factory which is bangalore north parliament and uh, that is actually a successful initiative so more of these i think we would uh, absolutely want what what has been your understanding of bus corridors See, you know maybe we need to introduce them across the main arteries there are so many uh, main roads you know a road that uh, if you take uh, jc road from corporation to the end you know things like that uh, to uh, jayanagar to uh, banagata road uh, tumkur road etc uh, what is your uh, view point on this issue of more bus lanes the bus lane we in hello it's a very important subject ekandre hmm. to imp uh, to encourage uh, more people to travel in mass transport that is bus anthe heldre they should reach to their destination fast bus. only that means i saw uh, 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 this bus lane which has been made uh, the only one uh, bus lane which has been made uh, that is uh, successfully it is doing because of this three months covid uh, we could not get the 100% uh, feedback could not but otherwise the uh, how many other days the bus was running it was very successful around 25% of the timing also is less except for goes and the bmtc has already identified 12 more roads for this okay they are going to ask the bbmp to uh, give that uh, dedicated lane so once if this improves definitely the bmtc will carry more passenger if the uh, 25% timing also to reach their destination uh, then definitely people would like to travel more sure and what bangalore has shown is that you can have different types of buses you have the air conditioned costly yes. buses which will also attract its own uh, you know clientele as well so that's good you need to have a quality through and interrupt madre illa remember about the suburban uh, the uh. central government has given 1 crore anthe le see what happens uh, the budget is allocated 18500 crores about 2 years back only what happens uh, now the uh, uh, they have to state government and the Uh, railways have to jointly together they have to do already k ride uh, uh, company also has been formed spv company now the k ride is uh, started uh, uh, appointing people and all thing now survey has to be done then after the, this whole year the one more year the survey will start survey has started already land acquisition survey everything and after that only the st- central government funds are required till that the funds are not required as i know okay well um that we will um <coughs> hope that everything will come to come together as quickly as possible and take the uh, uh, farmer mayor was talking about uh, the foot uh, you, you had asked the question for footpath and uh, potholes what i feel uh, ನನಗೆ ಏನನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಫುಟ್ಪಾತು ಮತ್ತು ಪಾಟ್ ಹೋಲು ಆ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಯಾರು ಜೆ ಇ ಮತ್ತು ಎ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಇರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಇಫ್ ಸಮ್ಬಡಿ ಫಾಲ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪುಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಬಟ್ ನನಗೆ ಏನನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾರ್ದು ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇವತ್ತೊಂದು ಫುಟ್ಪಾತಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಸ್ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ತೆಗೆದಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಇಫ್ ದ ಜೆ ಇ ಆರ್ ಎ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಸನ್ ಸಿ ಹೂ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಸಿ ನಾನು ಮಧ್ಯ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಮೇಯರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಹೇಳಿದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯಾರು ಎ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರೇ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆ ತರ ಕಾಮನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಅವರೇ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಪಾಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದು ಅದರಿಂದ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಸಾವಿರ ಫೈವ್ ಮಂತ್ ಕೂಡ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಖಂಡಿತ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್
ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಯ ಒಂದು ನಿರ್ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಕಬಾರ್ದು ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ ಪಾಟ್ವಾಲ್ ಮುಚ್ಬೇಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ್ದೇ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇವ್ ಅದು ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಎಂ ಪಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇನ್ಯಾರು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಫುಟ್ಬಾತ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದ್ ಕಡೆ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳನ್ನ ಒಂದು ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇದು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಸಕ್ಸ